Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Hey, how's it going? I know. Can you imagine trying to sell something, trying to market something, and you don't like it? Okay. Um, you know what? Because some things happen when companies launch new product lines, when companies bring out new things. Um, there's some women that are going like, I don't like this stuff. As you guys know, this is what I love to do. Okay, my name is Roxanne Lynch. I live way up here, um, north of the Montana Idaho border. And, you know, I'm a professional network marketer within social retail, but I also love taking concepts, taking conversations that I have every day within my own amazing team in business and social retail and share that out in ways that you guys can pick up some tips and tricks and solutions to what we call the sunny side of life. Because I know that within this beautiful industry, there's enough success and sunshine out there for everybody, okay? So I think what I'm gonna share with you guys today is very share worthy. You guys are gonna wanna tag a friend, you're gonna wanna share this to the group, because if you have something within your company that you don't like, how can we market it? Like, how can we promote it? How can we share it? How can we sell it? How can we talk about it in ways that are going to create curiosity, have women asking you more questions, okay? So, and you know, you guys can tell me, have, do you guys have products within your company that maybe you don't like, you know, and I know because sometimes it's more than just the allergies, right? I mean, honestly, if you have an allergy or, you know, you kind of get like a, um, a reaction from taking a certain product or an ingredient, or, you know, maybe you've had a bad childhood experience and you can't have that flavor. It just makes you gag, you know, it's horrible. Um, you know, maybe you don't like the taste of something. How can we market that? How can we flip this in our minds and use our creativity? And you know what? Because the struggle is real, right? I was talking with one of my girls this morning because, um, I mean, we, we, you guys know that we just launched a brand new uh, matrix of coffee, okay? It's a, it's a coffee blend, but it's like, because I love my coffee, okay? But some people don't like the flavor and the taste of coffee. So how can we market this? I mean, I like, I mean, I'm going to be honest, like I love our, this new coffee that just was let released on Friday. It, it has, it increases our alpha waves. So if any of us desire more peace in the morning, more Zen, more feeling of togetherness, more feeling of focus and energy and less feelings of frustration and being frazzled, um, this stuff is absolutely amazing, but they've also made it keto friendly with the right fats that are really great for our brain and you know memory loss and and like brain health for anti-aging for our brains because hey our brains always get older we get more forgetful we walk into rooms we don't know why we walked in there but so we leave or we do something else um on top of they've also added what is my jam and you guys know which is my liquid collagen okay and i love that stuff you guys look at this I mean, really, you know, do I look 50? I don't feel like I'm 50. Why should I look 50? So anyway, so Melissa, she doesn't like coffee. She doesn't like the flavor of coffee. She so is Roxanne. She's wearing like, we have this amazing product. Like everyone's going to want up this product, but how can I market a product that I don't like? Like I'm going to gag. There's no way my friends know that I hate coffee. Okay. So how can I share this in ways that I'm being real, I'm honest, I'm being truthful. So, you know, because every one of my friends knows that I can't drink coffee. So how can I market this and how can I share this? So I'm going to share what I told her, um, but I'm also want to share five or six different tips of what, um, what you guys can do if you have a copy. Maybe it's a color palette that your makeup company just come out with. You know, maybe it's a flavor of, you know, a new shakety shake that's just come out. Or, you know, maybe it's, you know, something to do with something that will give you a physical bad reaction. It's going to raise up your allergies. It's going to make you gag, all this kind of stuff. So the very first thing is to pop the bubble. Um, I think that it's a great way just to be honest, okay? So uh, what I encourage Mel to do is to the, to be honest and say like right in the very first, like take a really weird, so you know, 
something horrible, like your eyes all cranked up, take a horribly ugly selfie of you going like, I hate coffee, you know? Um, I honestly think it's the most horrible thing on earth, but if I ever wanted to change my mind, you know, I mean, really, as women, we're allowed to change our minds, right? Um, if I wanted to start drinking coffee, I would start drinking this morning cup because of these benefit, benefit reasons, like, you know, healthy uh, brain aging, boosting attention, mental clarity, focus, uh, adding some calmness to my day and zen and feel good feelings, um, you know, and, you know, she posted that. And she has women that are going to be reaching out to her because of that, because she was honest. So the tip number one is pop the bubble, okay? Get excited about other things for other people. Defer to others. For these reasons, this is why I might do it, okay? So, and for these reasons, I know my girlfriends who are coffee lovers are going to be over the moon, okay? So that's tip number one. Be authentic, be real, be truthful, be honest, and pop the bubble and lay it right out there so there's no weird uh, twisted feelings. Do you, do you guys make some sense out of that one? That one's number one. So pop the bubble. So tip number two is different ways because right now, same thing. We know that there's a bunch of women that are looking to figure out how they are going to consume this new coffee beverage if they're not really big coffee lovers. Um, like I know they're crazy. I mean, who cannot not love coffee? But anyways, they're looking at ways that they can add it into their um, their hot, their chocolate so they can have like a hot chocolate or a, like a cafe mocha kind of things. They're adding the creamer, which has like all these other brain healthy benefits along with the liquid collagen matrix added into it. And they're putting it into their oatmeal or they're actually putting it on a topping for their popcorn. So think about your product. What other ways can you use it, consume it, hide it? Can you put it into a different flavor? flavor of smoothie? Can you, you know, mix it up with some different flavors of water? Get creative in ways that you can consume it if you don't like the taste. Obviously, if you have allergies or sensitivities, um, yeah, let's not do that. I don't want you to do that at all, okay? So that's tip number two. Start being creative. Brainstorm with your team and your upline of different ways to consume it and use it, okay? So same thing, maybe if you got this weird makeup palette color mix that you know just doesn't suit you, um, you can maybe do something that is more like for a, a Halloween or a festive gala or something like that that you normally wouldn't ever wear that palette, but in this way, you could. Okay, so get creative, start thinking outside the box, okay? Tip number three is look for the side benefits to leverage, okay? Because really, we're in business to serve women, right? We're in business here for a purpose to help other people. So focus on what those other people need and not what you think, okay? Take yourself out of it. Really remember that on tip number three that we have to remember what's in it for them. Remove ourselves from the equation. Look for other side benefits um, of ingredients or the result or the goal or that end um, that's going to be happening for those end results that you can leverage. Okay. So look and focus on what the other people are needing and what they are desiring and see therefore then how we can, uh, formulate with that. Okay. Because it's more than you. We're here to serve. We're here to help. We're here to be creative. Think outside the box. Recognize there is no box. Okay. So tip number four is try it. Okay, now obviously you wouldn't do this one if you have allergies or reactions to certain ingredients, okay? But try it. That's when you can really go online and be out of the world wonky and crazy. Do a live post or, or have someone do like a, a three second video clip of you trying it, okay? Um, especially if like it's not a flavor that you normally would like, um, you know, and just let women laugh with you as you try to take this product because you're looking for an end benefit, an end result, and for something for your end goal or your end dream. Um, you know, just kind of like the little bit of a mama bear moment here, but suck it up, buttercup, get over it and do it, okay? You're doing things that are uncomfortable, that are gonna stretch you. We tell our kids to eat broccoli all the time. Some of us don't like broccoli or Brussels sprouts or sweet potatoes, okay? But we make our kids eat them because they're good for you, right? 
that's right. <laughs> so if that, cause I'm really, so do, do something wild and crazy, do a Facebook live, you know, talk about your emotional state of why maybe the story of why it made you physically sick or why you don't like that flavor and you don't like the taste, but you're doing it anyway, because you want these results. You want these, um, this end goals, you want these side benefits and you're just going to learn how to get over it. We take a lot of things that are dictated to us from the doctors that we don't necessarily like. And yet when we have open options to take something just because we don't like the flavor of it, like we raise like all hell going on. Okay. So, um, that was tip number four. Just do it anyway, try it anyway, and have a hoot doing it. Market it, do it on a Facebook Live, all right? Tip number five, last one for you guys and gals, is use another person's story. Okay, this is perfect. So if you do have allergies to an ingredient and you know it's just one, one aspect of one product within your company, um, and or it's a color palette within your makeup or something like that. So you can use another person's story, okay? Um, you can do a Facebook Live interview with that person and you could, they can talk about the results and they can talk about their feelings, what was in it for other people. Use their story, okay? And you can honestly say like, if I didn't have this allergy, I would be all over this, you know? If I wouldn't break out in hives and look like I was attacked by a hornet's nest of bumblebees, I would be on this stuff like crazy. So pop the bubbles, be real, be authentic, be uh, trustworthy and honest. You know, always honesty is the best way to go. Um, but if you can't do something, then use someone else's story. Leverage their excitement, their enthusiasm, their results, what's happening for them, okay? So those are just some of the ideas I wanted to share with you guys because if, if you seek the way, the way will show up. We have to be creative. We have to look outside our own personal experiences, just alter our mind shift and look at things from a different perspective, a different place and space. When we look at things differently, things show up differently in our lives. And we start, we start looking for that creativity, that vivid imagination that we've always had and just let it out just a little bit more. Okay. So if you guys didn't catch this morning's post, um, if you guys scroll back in my timeline, you're going to see me in my really sexy uh, blue Hugh Hefner robe um, with my cup of coffee. And I actually wrote out a whole bunch of notes that I shared with Mel of, you know, how to, you know, market this coffee that she absolutely can't drink coffee because she gags and she says she's going to throw up. So read that post. Think about things a little bit uh, differently outside the box. Um, share this video to your friends, tag a friend. Um, you know, the rest of the points of one to six were absolutely stellar. I know you guys are going to get some goodness out of them. And as always, if you don't know what the heck social retail is and you want to get your hands on this coffee, because <laughs> I cannot wait for it to arrive in the mail. Um, we have that like a hundred percent money back guarantee, no risk, no worried about, you don't like the flavor of it. You just got to give um, a quick message and your all your money goes back to your pocket. We don't want you to ship anything back. We don't want you guys to, to have to take something that doesn't taste good. But um, from what I've heard, it tastes absolutely amazing and I just cannot wait. So you want more information? Drop coffee in the comments. Happy to share. Social retail is the bomb.com and I will look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow on the sunny side of life. Bye guys.